faith in the two of us, Rajesh and myself and Dean. Now let's uh, set a few ground rules. After, of course, welcome. So welcome to all of you on uh, this campus to corporate workshop, which I would like to call vibrations, because I want them to vibrate <coughs> with confidence and with a lot of uh, good cheer and so that you will be able to face the corporate people with loads of confidence. Okay? Sir, would you please come here? Yeah. <coughs> now, assuming that you are uh, the guy who has come for selecting these people, the simple instruction that I gave was that your name should be written in bold capital letters so that I could see it from a distance. So just look around and find out who is displaying the name to the best. Just look around from here. Who is displaying the name the best? And who has cluttered up this space? Call both of them. Call the best one first. Rajay, could you move back a little? the best one first, then the worst one last. Neeraj, please come here. So I can see his name a mile away. And now pick out the worst. Why do you say this is the worst? Instead of landscape, she has used portrait, not utilized, and pinned it probably at the end of the hand, somewhere over here. Let's ask her why. Ask her why. Somebody who has written two names, two names, three names, so find out which is yours. What was my instruction? Your name in block letters. And we gave them this much of a sheet. So you find if you look around, everyone's mind works a, a little different. Everyone's mind works a little differently. Look around, look around. You find that everyone has represented the name in different fashions. So henceforth, from now on, whenever the corporate world or any industry asks you your name board, present your first name only in as large a space as possible, as allowed by the restrictions of the paper that you use or the cardboard that you use. Okay? So your first name. We are not interested in the family name, granddad's name, grandmother's name and all. Okay? So that needs to be presented very clear. So we need to see that very easy. What about yours? So going back now with this information, what should you do? Just Mohit is there. Okay? Mohit. Alright? Good. Go. And you will go back with the job. Thank you, sir. <coughs> All right, ready to go? Yes, sir. Okay. A few things. If you have got a mobile phone, please put it on silent or switch it off. Is that done? Yes, yes sir. If any phone rings loudly during the session or you take a call during the session, you will have to give everyone chocolates. <laughs> and those chocolates will not come from that bag. <laughs> it will be your own. Is that acceptable? Yes, yes. Even if my phone rings loudly, I have to give you chocolates and it won't come from that. Fair enough? All right. And if any of you do not want to participate and are happy with either me 
showing you some slides or Rajesh showing you some slides, you can please go. Nobody? All right. All of you are going to participate? Yes. Yes. Right. Because it is your show, not mine or his. It is your show. You are supposed to participate. That's the intention with which all of you have been brought here. You can stop us at any time and ask questions. Which means you can interrupt. You can interrupt at any time that you think you need to say something. All you need to do is put up your hand. Put up your hand and we'll give you a chance to say something. Whether what you say is right or wrong, don't worry. Don't worry about that. You are allowed to commit as many mistakes as you want. Not a problem. All right? Please commit as many mistakes as you want. If visibility is a problem, shift to that chair. Okay? Jignesh is a large fellow, so if he is blocking you, you can shift to that chair. So you can interrupt. Anything. Make a mistake. Because now is the chance to make a mistake, because if you make a mistake now, nothing will happen. Instead, you go back and what goes back into your system will be the right information. But if you make a mistake on the day of the campus elections, you're gone. You got a chance, you grabbed it, you missed it, you're gone. That's how it is. Am I speaking at the right pace or you want me to slow down? No, sir. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Am I being heard over there? Yes, sir. You want me to speak louder? No, sir. Is it all right? Yes, sir. Clear enough? Yes, sir. Fine. Anytime you want a little more clarity and you think I'm not clear enough, feel free to ask. So you can see that we have deliberately created these seating arrangements so that I'll be free to move. And you'll also see that I'm not free to move over here. So you guys need to arrange yourself a little bit better. So I'm able to circulate now because we need to reach out to everyone. And I'm close to everyone. So there's no partiality that way. Right. To set the context, before I show you something over here, apart from, let's say, after the welcome, we need to have that. So I would uh, like to call this, add something like vibrations over here, all right? So this will be a program called vibrations because I want you to go back with a lot of vibrations. And you have to get from us whatever you need. It is your responsibility. Not ours, correct? So it is not ours. It is your responsibility. You could take our help. We are willing to help. So roughly, the path that we will travel is something like this. On the day one, we will get the information out from you as to what you are good in and what you lack. I didn't use the word bad. Note that. In my dictionary, I don't have the term called bad or I don't have the term called negative. It's all positive. So you need to get that too. Incidentally, somewhere today we will get that also out of it. Correct? Sir. Yes. So we will be able to get that also out of you. And my dear sir, why are you late? Sir, I got to the next event, so I went back home. You hit somebody or somebody hit you? Both. Both. <laughs> You have a slip of paper and a pin and a pen. There, there. That's being passed. Okay. Tell him what to do. It's the job of the neighbor to educate. Those of you who think now you have cluttered up your name plate badly, take it out, turn it around, do the correct job. Go ahead. I want only your name. I don't want the family name. Your name. Turn it around, take a sketch pen. After you finish with the sketch pen, take the help of your neighbor to find out whether it is clear or not. Then do a good job. You the entire space. Okay, what is your name? Okay. Right, only that. Wide enough. Large enough. First name only. What is your first name? 
Thank mm-hmm. you. 